Last time we've talked about symmetry, okay? We were given a figure and then we will find some ways to cut it so that when we have cut it, we can fold the figure along the line, okay? So that we can have the figures uh, on one side overlapping with the other side. If it can overlap perfectly, all right, we call it they are symmetric. For some of the figures, we can draw one more line, okay? Uh, more than one line. For some of the figures, there are just one, okay? So for this lines, it is quite important. We call it the line of symmetry, okay? Okay. Yeah? Okay. So here, this time we will try to look at the line of symmetry because it is the most important part, okay? It teaches how we can overlap the figure, all right? So here is the rectangle. If we cut it at the middle vertically, we can overlap the left and right. We can over it, uh, overlap it perfectly. It fits exactly into each other, okay? So we say they are reflection of each other. If we cut the figure, if we cut the rectangle horizontally, we can also overlap it and then they fit exactly. We can say, also say that they're reflections of each other. So you can see that for a rectangle, there are more than one line of symmetry, okay? More than one, all right? Our task this time is to find out all the lines of symmetry or find out some of them, all right? So, when you cut it diagonally, you can see that we cannot have them fit into each other perfectly, okay? They don't overlap. They don't overlap, no. So we say that this is not a line of symmetry, all right? It may seem that the two triangles, they are of the same shape, okay? They look like the same. However, our biggest requirement is they can overlap when you fold along the straight line, all right? Now here, you need to determine which of the followings is having the dotted line as the line of symmetry. That is, when you fold the figure along this line, you will have the two shapes overlapping each other. Is the first one, this dotted line, the line of symmetry of a square? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay, the second one, when you fold it, do they overlap? Is it the line of symmetry? Yes. Okay, the third one, these two lines, they're not the same. When you fold it, can you have them overlapping? No. no. Right, you are correct. You will have something like that, okay? No. And then this one. No. No. Is it a symmetric diagram? Is, it, is there any symmetry inside? Do you think so? If this line is not correct, can you draw an other line such that they can overlap? Do you think so? No? No. No. Now, if I draw it like this, is it the line of symmetry? Yes, right? You, you laugh, okay, you smile, okay, yeah. You can overlap it like this, all right? So here it is a hexagon, okay? We call it a regular hexagon because every size are the same. Is it the line of symmetry? Yeah. For hexagon, can we have more lines of symmetry? If this time I cut it horizontally, can you suggest some more? Vertically. Okay, vertically at the middle, what else? Di um, diagonal. diagonal. Okay, the two diagonals. Good. There are some more. There are two more. Here, we call it the vertex, okay? We can cut it like this. Yeah. And then also cut it like this, okay? Actually, there are all together six of them, all right? So for this rainbow shape, is it a line of symmetry? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah, okay. So that's, uh, that's what we need in this session, okay? Looking at the line of symmetry.